All right, so now it's time to look at mid-chapter review problems, number, problem numbers 14 and 15. So first, let's take a look at number 14. So in number 14, I see that these two lines are parallel. And the way I can tell is that they have the same number of arrows marking them here. So um, if two lines are parallel, then by the alternate interior angles there, my alternate interior angles, which are these guys here, are going to be congruent. So that means that their measures are equal, which means that I can set up the equation x plus 15, oops, 15 equals 2x minus 30. To solve for x here, I'm going to go ahead and combine some like terms. So I'm going to add 30 to both sides. I end up with x plus 45 equals 2x. I'm going to scoot over here so I have some extra room. So I have x plus 45 equals 2x. I'm going to go ahead and subtract x from both sides, and I end up with 45 equals x. There is my answer. All right, let's take a look at number 15. So these two lines here are parallel, and the way that I know that is that they have the same number of arrows. So I'm going to take a look, and these two lines, or these two angles here, these are same side interior angles, and so I know that if, uh, by the same side interior angles theorem, that if these lines are parallel, then my same side interior angles are going to be supplementary. So I can go ahead and write the equation 3x minus 44 plus x minus 24 equals 180 because supplementary angles add together to be 180 degrees. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. So 3x plus x that's going to give me 4x and negative 44 plus negative 24 is going to give me negative 68 equals 180 degrees. Now I'm going to add 68 to both sides, plus 68, and I get 4x equals 248. Now I can divide both sides by 4, and I get that x equals 62. There's my answer.